Okay, good evening ladies and gentlemen, I'm Keno Thomas with stemwithkino.com and today I am going to do a little quick lesson. I'm going to make this, try to make this as short as possible for the aviation pre-flight indoctrination people. As I've said before, my favorite, favorite online uh, chart utility tool is skyvector.com, which you can see there. Um, so in today's mission we're going to talk about one of the basic types of or methods of navigation and the first one I'm going to talk about is pilotage and while I'm here let me um, just go ahead and pilotage. all right so pilotage let's go to the uh, definition here all right and let's see active no no that's not what I'm looking for that's not what I'm looking for so and I don't even know why that popped up but um alrighty righty 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 hmm okay I'm not sure if we can get an aviation or aviators definition so that's alright basically what pilotage is is knowing where you are looking at your chart like this and flying um, you know some predetermined heading so we know where we are we're gonna start out at Willow Grove Naval Air Station so we're gonna fly eastbound and let's see here uh, All right, Willow Grove is not um, depicted, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna plan this out, and um, then we're gonna wind up at Lakehurst Naval Air and Maxfield, and we'll put that in the plan. Okay, so basically, what we're gonna have here is we're gonna have a heading of 110 and 43 nautical miles so this will be this will be a relatively short trip along our route of flight uh, what we will see is we should see Philadelphia Northeast Airport um, we should be at um, we should be above 2600 feet this is the class Delta airspace and the top of it comes up to 2600 feet so we're gonna fly 3000 and as we come along uh, this is Lakehurst Naval Air Station. We're not going to use uh, communications, but everything here is 2600, 2600, 2600. We have class Delta airspace here. Uh, if you want to know what the type of airspace, uh, where it is, you can go to the legend here. Uh, but we'll save that for a later lesson. We'll come on back to our route of flight. And um, McGuire's uh, class Delta airspace is here. The blue broken segmented lines. And finally, Lakehurst's, Lakehurst's uh, broken blue lines. Now, here we have a restricted area, and this is something we want to take notice of. So, uh, it is uh, October eighth, two thousand eleven, and the Zulu time is zero two four eight Zulu. All right. So, we'll note this restricted area here, and how our route of flight passes through it. So we want to see if this is hot. Restricted area 5001 Alpha and Bravo. All right, 5001 Alpha and Bravo. Where are you? Okay, this is Alpha. Restricted area uh, 5001 Alpha. And this is restricted area 5001 Bravo. All right, and this is the special use airspace on this sectional chart. Um, so... Um, all right, what do we have here? The altitude is surface to 4,000, 0,600 to 2,300 hours. All right, so we're going to be doing like a day flight for the most part. And let's see, you would talk to time of use, four hours in advance. Uh, controlling agency is McGuire approach. So maybe we would talk to McGuire Approach on 124.15 and say, yeah, McGuire Approach, this is Navy 12345. Navy 12345, go ahead. Uh, 
Uh, yes, I'd like to uh, know the status of uh, Restricted Area 5001 Alpha in Bravo. Right. Now, this is surface to 4000. This is 4000 to 8000. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Sunset. Sunrise to sunset. Friday through Sunday. Okay, so it is basically Monday. So 4000 to 8000 is not a factor. So when we fly, we could fly above this at 4000 if it was active. So we could talk to McGuire Approach. McGuire is right there. We could talk to McGuire Approach, ask them if it was active before we got there on 124.15. And if they say it's active, it's active. And if not, then I say, no, it's inactive right now. Um, what's your destination? We're going to Lakehurst. Okay, you're good to go. They're inactive. So those are just some operational considerations that we have to keep in mind. Um, the flight portion of this is going to be a couple minutes. We're going to leave Lakehurst at on runway 33, which is to the northwest, and then we're going to make a left, execute a left turn to 110. Uh, it'll be about 3,000 feet. We'll be looking for Philadelphia Northeast Airport. Uh, Inductotherm may show up, which is in New Jersey. This is the Delaware River. So we'll see Philadelphia Northeast. We'll see the Delaware River. We should see Inductotherm. We should see McGuire Air Force Base. And then we should see Lakehurst. We should see the New Jersey Turnpike. All right. So this is what pilotage is. It's looking outside the window and just saying, hey, you know what? There's there. I'm here. This is this. I'm here. Ooh, there's Philadelphia Northeast. I'm here. Hey, there's the Delaware River. We're heading eastbound. We're over the river. Okay, so it's like the simplest form of navigation. So uh, without further ado, we'll go to the flight portion, and we'll see how this little thing comes out. All right, here we go. Okay, so the aircraft that we're using is the T-34. All right, and we can look around, look around. We can see all the nice little pretty little gauges and stuff. And, you know, we got her all fired up and ready to go. All right. All right, so. All right. We won't even use any radio navigation. We'll strictly do this old school. All right. Alright, so like I said, what we're going to do is we're going to execute a left turn on climb out. Alright, so let's get her off the ground. We're airborne. Positive rate, gear up. Alright, our wheels are up and we're going to execute a left turn to 110 as published on the chart there. So here we go. And I hope my voice comes in pretty good so you guys can hear what's going on, but we're executing a left turn to a heading of 110. Now I'm looking down a little bit because we have a heading indicator. We're currently pointed to the southwest. This is west and this is south. So we're in a southwesterly heading and we're bringing her around to 110 degrees. We also have our compass here. And it's a magnetic compass. There are some flaws built into it. But at any rate, we will uh, keep pressing on here. Currently 2,900 feet. And we'll just pretend... Uh, Sorry, 2,100 feet right now. That was 19. And let's get this nose out of the sky. All right. So we're going to level out here. And I am going to try to work on... Jeez, please, baby. All right. Get this thing trimmed out. And 
I can see Philadelphia Northeast Airport right now. And so that is the first landmark we should see. All right, we just left Lakehurst. Philadelphia Northeast Airport should be ahead and on our right side. After Philadelphia Northeast, we should see the Delaware River. Okay, so Trenton Mercer Airport should be to the north of us, and I don't really have a positive identification, so I won't call it out, but I definitely have um, Philadelphia Northeast, which you see the skyline, alright, there's the Philadelphia skyline, which is right about there, off our wing. And this is Philadelphia Northeast Airport. Now, I am going to give you an idea of how we kind of back up what we see in pilotage. And I'm just letting the altitude just do whatever it wants to because um, we normally wouldn't do that, but I'm just doing that today because... Uh, as long as we're above 2,600 feet, I'm happy. There's also Class B airspace that we have to deal with, and we'll talk about uh, Class Bravo airspace at a later date. All right, so that is uh, Northeast Philadelphia Airport, or Philadelphia Northeast Airport. Sorry, and then we have the Turnpike. I mean, not, I mean the Delaware River. All right, we might be able to say the Pensil see the Pennsylvania Turnpike. This could possibly be it right here. Maybe, not sure. And this could be 95. Probably uh, it might be 95. But um, at any rate, I know that this is definitely the Delaware River. We have a uh, Philadelphia Northeast Airport right here that we just passed over. All right. Um, let me see. Sometimes you can see the runway. That is runway 246 and 3315. All right. So we can see the runway numbers. And um, so we know where we're at. All right, and New York Center, Beach, November eight eight nine or four hotel with you. Beach, November eight eight nine or four hotel. New York Center, Roger. Altimeter eight nine or nine or two. Okay, this, I don't know if this is 95 or not. I'm not going to make that assumption. And I wouldn't make any navigation assumptions. Alright. We'll let that chatter go on. Alright, so we're looking good. We're over the Delaware River. So, at this time, I go to my map, or my chart, and I say, okay, alright, we're flattening along, we started here, we passed Philadelphia Northeast Airport. Now, this blue body of water here, it's kind of hard to see with all the other stuff, but this is blue water, alright, this is the Delaware River. So, we're currently positioned here, and we're pretty much halfway uh, through with our trip, alright. We're going to pick up McGuire Air Force Base. And then we'll pick up Lakehurst Naval Air Station. 
and we will enter the pattern for runway six. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Like, yeah, see. And this is a pretty cool aircraft. I've uh, flown this airplane before. Um, you have that really good visibility. You can look all the way around. The only way that the uh, visibility is limited, you can't really see below the wings. You can't see through the wings. So uh, a lot of times what you would do is you would just rock around like this just to kind of, you know, if I wanted to kind of see what was under the wings or what had been blocking, I'll drop the wing a little bit and then bring it back up. On the right side, I drop the wing a little bit and then bring it back up. So that's how we uh, deal with the uh, visibility issues. And I believe we're coming up on McGuire Air Force Base in a minute here. It looks like this is it right off the nose. And I'm slightly off course just a little bit. So I'm going to make an adjustment. Because we should be to the north, so to speak, of McGuire Air Force Base. And let's just check that. Yeah. So yeah, our line, our line, uh, uh, McGuire Force Base, we should see the runways. And we should be north of it, and then we should see the uh, we should see Lakehurst Naval Air Station. So, uh, moving right along, moving right along, we're looking good. We know where we is going. <laughs> All right. Uh, and this is a fully aerobatic aircraft, so. Uh, well, it's not necessary. Sometimes, if you couldn't see the runway and you're above 3,000 feet and your aircraft is rated and you're pretty much clear, look around, we don't see any other airplanes, then what we could do is, boom. Okay, and that looks like McGuire to me. Okay, we're inverted. And that is McGuire right there because sometimes the nose gets in the way. So that is definitely McGuire Air Force Base. How you would how you would really you know know that hey how do I know beyond the shadow of a doubt? Well, I've been using pilotage pilotage the whole time, and I can look at the runway numbers. So basically, if I'm pointing at one one zero. I'm over McGuire. I know I'm over McGuire. Um, I kind of let the altitude kind of do its thing. We're at 5,100 feet. We're about 5,000 feet. So at this time, um, the restricted area is no longer a factor. We're above it. We're above the active or possibly active, which surfaced to 4,000 feet. So we're at 5,000 feet. So we're pretty much good to go. Um, at this point, you could have called McGuire Air Force Base. And um, we'll pause for a second. Okay, and um, this is probably Lakehurst right here. 
But um, we're going to fly over it, and then we're going to make pattern entry. All right, so yeah, what I was saying was, we know we're over McGuire, which is right there on our 5 o'clock position. And we p travel to the north of it like we planned. And we drifted a little bit to the right, I believe, so now this is why I'm flying a heading of 100. And you can see this right in the uh, compass right ahead in front of you. It's right there in front of you. Now, the T-6 Texan is the other trainer aircraft, but I don't have the Navy paint for it. I like this since we're preparing naval aviators, use the naval paint. So as soon as I get um, naval paint for the T T-6, I'm going to start using it. It's got the training air wing, labels, all this stuff and everything. Yeah, this is a good bird. All right. Uh, Now the cool thing, the cool thing about um, that's McGuire back there. The cool thing about uh, Lakehurst is they have blimp hangers there, and uh, they're pretty visible. So what I'm looking at is I'm seeing some, I'm seeing some uh, structures out here that are like kind of outstanding terrain features. And nine times out of ten, this is probably going to be a uh, lake curse. But um, we will not uh, bet on it until we actually get a ver visual confirmation. Um, what else? Any other things I wanted to point out? So we passed McGuire, and let's come back to our chart. We look at our chart and say, okay, we're here. We're actually above the restricted area right now. Um, so we're almost at the. Uh, we're almost about. We're at the uh, destination of this flight. And um, but that's Lake Hurst. I'm sure of it. And then you have the Atlantic Ocean, big, giant, outstanding terrain feature. If you're flying over, you're over New Jersey and you're flying eastbound, and you don't realize that this is the Atlantic Ocean, um, Houston, we have a problem. All right, so. We're still going to keep it high above the uh, restricted area. We're gonna uh, we're gonna respect it, and that would be this area down here. You know, so basically, this is just a part of your aviation pre-flight indoctrination prep. You can look at books and you can read them all day long and stuff, but unless you have a visual aid to back things up, it's kind of hard to visualize. So that is the whole purpose of this, to help you guys visualize uh, what's going on and stuff. So um, while we're uh, waiting to get above our uh, destination airport, we'll talk about some other things. We often talk about the five major components of an aircraft. Okay, so let's position here and let's talk about it. Okay, five major components. Um, we have the power plant. We call it a power plant because it does more than just drive the airplane. And Yeah, this is really annoying me, the uh, air traffic control, so. Okay, it looks like... I'm not even sure if they have, um... Okay, there's the, uh, there's Lakehurst, so we passed it a little bit. But that's okay, just knowing where you are. All right, so that's good. That is Lake Harrison Naval Air Station right there. Okay. All right, here we go. Let's get in. And again, this is a fully aerobatic aircraft.
And let's get this bird slowed down. And we're going to make pattern entry for runway 6. So I'm just looking at our direction on the directional gyro. We're pretty much headed west. So runway 24 will be kind of slanted a little bit. So we'll cross the runway, we'll cross the airport. This is runway six right here. That's two four, two four is going this way. All right, so we're gonna make left uh, traffic for runway six. And all right, 200 knots, we're a little hot, but um, we'll take care of the speed here. In a minute. Alright. So like I said, that is runway 24 like I told you. And we will get into the downwind leg of the pattern. And that is runway 6. So that's where we're landing folks. Landing gear extended, down three green. De and I would say your landing gear should be down in the downwind. That is runway six. And let's see if speed checks. Get some drag on. And that is the approaching of our runway. We're now in the base leg. We're left base for runway 24. And we're about to make final turn left or final approach for only 2-4 okay we're on final Pull off to the right there, but I'm correcting. I haven't flown the sim in a minute, but um, it's all good. I got the skills to pay the bills. Runway 6 confirmed. Touchdown! Okay, folks, so we have made it to Lakehurst Naval Air Station in New Jersey. Uh, just to uh, give you a brief overview of what happened, if you came in late on the video, we basically started at Willow Grove Naval Air Station. All right. Uh, yeah, Willow Grove Naval Air. And we flew a heading of 110, 43 miles was the uh, distance of this leg and we saw Philadelphia Northeast we saw the Delaware River we saw I didn't see the New Jersey Turnpike but I did see McGuire Air Force Base